Hey everybody, it's Paula from Crafting by the Pond. I hope everybody's having a fab fabulous day. Um, first off, I wanted to say sorry. I have not been around much. I've been working a lot. Uh, life has been crazy. Um, so I am on here with the encouragement of my son um, because he watches my videos. Hey Morgan. And he's like, hey mom, you haven't done a video in a while. So here I am. Um, I know I have um, a, I still have to select a winner for this cute little uh, ephemera folio that I made. Um, and so I'm going to hopefully come back on one day this week and select the winner. And I still have Happy Mail that's sitting here from Sh for Cheryl. Um, and Cheryl Taylor, girl, I got you. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, but anyway, oh, and before I even start, I wanted to say hi to my mom and to my pop and, uh, cause they watch my videos too. So, hey guys, I hope you're doing good. Okay. So this video is a small thrift store haul that I did. Um, I swung by the local thrift store. Mom, if you're watching, it was the one where we got your beautiful egg cups from. I, I swing in there from time to time um, if I'm out running errands or whatever. And so they sell them like in a bag. Like so the bag like comes like this. Okay. It comes in a bag. And you can sometimes see what's in them and sometimes not. And I usually try to wait until the bags are like discounted before I pick them up. And I know what I'm looking for before I pick them up um, because I, I look for certain specific things. So in this first bag, I think I paid $5 for it. And um, it, it came with the flower branch with the owl. And this is a hero art stamp. And I thought that that was really cute. I really like that. The owl reminds me of Dottie. Hey, Dot. Hope you're watching. And this next one is a retired Stampin' Up! set um, with the hedgehogs. Um, so this is a difficult set to kind of come across. So I was happy to pick this up. And like I said, it was dirt cheap. So why not? So I picked that, you know, this this one bag up, which was was great because I like I saw what was in it and I and I don't have this set it's very retired and you can't get it anymore so I thought yeah definitely picking that up it was worth the money um okay so this next set that I picked up I think was eight dollars and it came and this is also a retired Stampin' Up! set. It is um, 2000, from 2004 and it comes with just the little um, bag and you can put the little fish in there, the little goldfish, which I thought was cute. And it has, a, you can put the lid on there and then you can do, you can stamp multiple times um, the flowers. It's got the stem that can go with the flowers, which I thought was cute. So I picked that up. And again, this, I think I paid, I don't even know, but it was, it wasn't like maybe $8 for this. Um, I don't know. I think I did look online. It is missing, um, some of the stamps, but you know, whatever, I'm fine with it. And then this one, um, is a beach themed one and I think I already have this stamp that was gifted to me from um, a lady that I worked with um, and it's just you know the flip-flops and then another pair of flip-flops and it said flip-flops are the glass slippers of a friend so um, and it's a purpledaisydesign.com and initially it was $5.90 for the sentiment so I don't know that one was kind of okay um wasn't like a great find um but however this next one was amazing okay so I picked up this one and I'm a sucker for the house mouse I love house mouse um and so this bag was worth it just for the house mouse alone I paid 
um, six dollars and some change for this one. This is an original Stampa Rosa, um, and it's uh, sitting. It's called sitting on a branch. Um, I actually Googled this stamp um, before I came on to do the video, and this stamp right now is selling on eBay for twenty five dollars. So yay, go me! But I'm not gonna sell it. It's gonna be. In my stash, I actually have a very extensive house mouse collection, and I know a lot of um, some of the other ladies, like Rochelle. Hey, Rochelle, I hope you're doing well. I'm very jealous of all things house mouse that you're getting. Um, and I know Kim from Kimbo Creations. Hi, Kim. Um, she's been, you know, hauling a lot of stuff too. She went to that amazing. Um, estate sale so um, but anyway so I was so happy to get this one it was worth what I paid and like I said I didn't know like this stamp had so much value I actually went through all of my house mouse uh, st stamps today my woodblock stamps and a lot of the ones that are going for the high dollar I have <laughs> so I was just like I, I it was so funny because I was uh looking up my stuff and I was running downstairs and I'm like tell my Mr. Uh, Crafted by the Pond like oh my gosh can you believe this this is you know whatever and he's like oh that's great dear you know <laughs> however he does support my bad habit um and then this one is I don't even know who owns this one it doesn't have a name, but it's just, it looks kind of like a dots, but it's not because it's not labeled. So I, I don't really know. And then this one just has various uh, thank you sentiments on there. Um, it says happy birthday, uh, thank you, and thinking of you, and something over here that's missing and long gone. Not in the bag. Um, so, but whatever, it was okay. The, the reason why I wanted this bag was because of this stamp, um, to add to my collection. So, um, I hope everybody is doing okay. And again, um, you know, I had a long conversation with my son today and he's like, mom, you need to, you know, get back in there and do it. And so here I am. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, I have a Hobby Lobby haul, a Dollar Tree haul, a Pop Shelf haul, um, because I've just like going out and buying stuff and just leaving it in the bags and it's all over my craft room and I need to get it cleaned up and sorted out and oh my gosh, okay, so I almost forgot this. This I bought as also at the thrift store, and I paid four dollars <laughs> for this. Um, so in here is goodness like you could not believe. Um, there are um, some earring uh, loops um, and some actual, you know, longer earring loops. Um, I have no idea what this is, um, but whatever it is, it was marked $1.49, and there are several in here, um, so I took those, you know, this was in here, this is labeled, like, $12, and it's just, they're, they're, they look like butterflies, um, I'm not really sure. Um, but it came with a bunch of charms, like these heart charms. I mean, like those are beautiful and there's all different sizes and types. I guess you could do earrings with these. I, I don't know, but they're just fabulous, fabulous and, um, keys and there's different types of keys in here. Um, so I picked those up, and there's some of the shells in here. It, it was just like a hodgepodge of things that, as crafters, we love. <laughs> and, um, you know, just different 
charms, um, different blue beads. There's some, I have no idea what that is. It's going right in the trash. I don't even know. Um, blue, different various blue. There's some black beads in here. Um, these are really, really pretty. The kind of garnet colored, um, some more black and just various doodads. Um, this, there's a whole bag of these, um, like shell, they're kind of shell, a shell material. So that's kind of cool. Different various color beads. Again, again, more various colors. And then these are, um, they're stone. It's like really weird. Like, I don't know, like what you would do, like a club. So what I'm thinking is when I finally get around to doing my Alice in Wonderland journal, I'm going to, you know, paint those. Um, and then these are just some flat back gems and different other kind of gems here. Um, came with some tacks. And then um, this um, wire to wrap them, I guess. And... There's just, I don't even know what that is. I'm going to just put that over there. But anyway, $4.80. Um, can't beat that with a stick. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I hope everybody is doing good. I'm going to get back on here. Um, another life update is um, I'm currently a hospitalist uh, where I, you know, as a nurse practitioner. And I'm leaving my hospitalist position so that I can work in a primary care clinic so that I can have uh, better work hours um, so I can work days because right now I'm working like a swing shift and it's very hard um, to live that way and you know we tried it for like eight months and um, yeah, we're both over it, my husband, Mr. Crafting by the Pond and myself. Uh, we kind of like each other too much to be uh, working opposite shifts. So anyway, um, I will we'll be done with uh, where I'm working right now in um, July, July, like July. And I'm going to take like the month of August. Um, no, I'm going to take July off whatever time I have left, you know, like a couple weeks and, um, just kind of do nothing like organize my craft room, um, do some other things, just kind of rest, relax, recoup. Um, and then, you know, August, uh, September timeframe, you know, go on to the next, uh, chapter. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. I've missed you all so much. I hope you're all doing well. And I just want to say, Mom, Pop, uh, Morgan, I love you guys. Um, I miss you. Uh, hope everybody else is doing good. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. I miss you guys. Um, and I, I have been watching videos. I don't always have opportunity um, to comment because I kind of watch them in between, um, like getting ready for work or doing something else. And I don't always have time to comment, but, um, I do want to also kind of pull out at this time and thank a couple ladies that are still so kind to me. And I've been gone for so long. Um, Gina, Gina loves to craft, Miss Sheila, um, Jean from, uh, homeschooled mom, um, Rochelle, uh, Kim, Kimbo Creations, like, like my channel. I about fell over. I didn't even know she watched me. Um, and just everybody, you know, Susan Tootsie Tucker and, um, Linda, I just, you know what, you guys are the best. And I know I've been gone a lot and, you know, periodically pop on and do a video and you ladies are always so kind and you comment and, you know, I just, I miss you guys. And it's just, it's been hard. It's, it's, it's been hard. I kind of lost my crafty mojo. Um, I'm buying a lot of stuff, but I'm not crafting at all, which is not good. So anyhow, I always say, well, I'm going to stop buying stuff. Do I do that? No, 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 but I need to do better. So, 
Um, anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, I miss you a lot all. I love y'all. Be sweet and be kind to each other, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.